Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amugan Sirkivel and today we will see another interesting topic about how we can create a Java documentation for our automation framework. Again, this is not very common, uh, you know, not very specific to your Selenium automation framework. So you can apply the same logic to, to all other, uh, you know, APM automation framework or your REST assured automation framework. You can, or you can also use this for, even if some developers want to do this, they can also still fork you know use use this uh, was this same tutorial to understand how they can uh, create a java documentation for their own frameworks good now in this video this is what going to be the agenda we will see the needs for uh, writing a good quality comments uh, in our uh, in our class files and we will also understand how the java documentations uh, you know we need to write for our classes methods constructors and other other different uh, members available in java we'll also see how we can customize the eclipse ide suggestions again if you're using uh, any other ide maybe uh, you need to check their official documentation uh, on how to do that so i'll be only teaching with uh, in terms of eclipse and we'll also see how we can write um, uh, description for our packages with the help of package if an info.java and if you are if you're not understanding what this is that's completely all right for now because we're going to see that in detail and we'll also understand few tag html tags which is going to help us to write a good quality comments and we will also see how we can generate the java documentation which is what the main uh, agenda for today's topic we'll also see about uh, documented uh, annotation uh, if we have some custom annotation in our framework how we can use this undocumented uh, what is the impact of this using this documented annotations okay then we'll also see how we can customize the generated java docs suppose the generated java, java docs will have uh, a window title uh, you know some default window title how we can customize uh, little things with that we'll see uh, some some small uh, options uh, parameters that we can pass that can tweak the uh, generated index uh, html file we'll also see the good and bad practices of writing comments right so uh, you see uh, you know people write so much of detail in their comments guys right? so that's something uh, that needs to be avoided uh, we will see that in detail. So the do's and don'ts of writing a good quality comments. Okay, so we will do that. And without wasting much time, let's get into the Eclipse workspace. Okay, so if you notice, this is the uh, you know framework that we have developed so far. Let me open a file and we're gonna create a Java documentation for one particular file. And then this is gonna remain same for all others. So I will leave it to you to create for the remaining. Okay, so for now, okay we are, we know the double slashes will will be ignored by java compiler so you can write your comment here okay this is a comment okay and you can also write comments in terms of multi line if you want to write multi line comments this is multi line comment okay so whatever entered in between this will not be uh, considered for compilation right so multi line comment but whatever the comments that you are writing inside here will not be taken by java documentation so Maybe I can show you what is a Java doc. Suppose if you are not sure what is a Java doc, maybe, uh, you know, this is an overview about a Java doc. So this is a Selenium Java documentation, right? Suppose I want to see what's inside org.openqa.selenium. These many classes and interfaces are located, you know, inside this particular uh, package, right? So this gives us a clear understanding, right? This is a Selenium Java docs. If you want to see the testng java docs this is all the packages available in testng these are all the interfaces and these are all the packages suppose you want to know about our that testng package what it contains okay this has so many interfaces it also has so many classes it also have a lot of enums it also have some custom exception that they have so this is the java documentation that gives us a clear idea what this whole uh, you know framework or the tool is having okay that's what we're going to do we are creating a you know framework selenium automation framework but suppose consider someone new is coming to your project they can only understand if you have a very good documentation about what this whole you know framework is about okay you need to give them a clear documentation like this you know so that it can be followed across the uh, your your company level right so if you are a coe you know you are developing the framework for your company you cannot uh, you know put everything inside uh, java you know your java files right the comments doesn't suffice so they need to have a eclipse or another ide they need to download it uh, pull the code then they need to go through it but the best way to you know have a java documentation is in the form of html file you can put it in some uh, you know some uh, uh, 
some repository uh, and then you can host it in some particular dns which can be accessed only in within your company okay so that they can go and see what the details it has so this is all about the java documentation we are we are going to develop similar kind of java documentation for our framework so, okay so now so we spoke about the single line comment and multi line comment but these are all not necessary uh, like this will not be considered for java documentation so it has a certain uh, feature like you need to start it with slash and then followed by double star and then you have to end it like this okay when i press on enter it automatically gives me all these things okay where this whole thing is coming okay in your eclipse it may be different because i have configured to display like this okay this is a command suppose if you start with a star uh, slash and then followed by two stars and ending with a star and slash it will be considered for java documentation so that's the whole idea if you if you want to see how this look is in looks in a java documentation just click on the tab java doc if you don't see your java doc top tab here maybe you need to type java doc in the top right corner and then you it will and click clicking on this will open a tab like this okay now this is this is how this particular class will look in a java documentation suppose i want to add some some statements here okay the details about what this particular class is doing here my class is doing uh, maybe i can just type something like this okay i already have this maybe i can do a copy paste huh? so that i can save some time okay so driver class is responsible for invoking and closing the browsers okay in this particular framework and i also think uh, you know this it is also responsible for you know just a minute i'm just copying it and pasting it here so it is also responsible for setting the uh, uh, driver variable to driver manager which handles the threat safety for this particular web driver instance so we are doing setting the driver you know to the thread local right uh, so that's what we are doing so we are mentioning all these things here but if you notice it will it will look like this in the java documentation it will look in a simple single line okay if you want to change this or customize this then you can you can suppose i want to do a paragraph break here okay i want to write it in two different para then you can use something like this put a slash and p okay this is a html tag right so if you save this okay now if you notice this is split into two different lines okay and i want to do a line break right here okay because uh, i don't want to see the jan 20 2021 here so yeah you can do like this again where this whole thing is coming okay if you go to the windows preferences okay there is an option here okay inside java there is an option called code style in the inside that there is a code templates tab go here and click on these items okay suppose these are all for the files and the types means you know it includes the classes interfaces and your all other enums and other stuff okay for that you know this is the thing that i have mentioned okay this is the default template it will create suppose you want to customize okay i don't want to see the date there okay you can remove it i don't i don't want to see the version or since then you can remove it again if you want to give some uh, author name in terms of variable you can do that okay but just to understand one thing okay whatever that is denoted inside a dollar it's all, all variable okay if you don't know what and all is available just press control and space now if you notice this is date it evaluates to the current date in the specified format suppose if you want to change the format okay you can also do give like this okay but for now i am just simply interested in a simple date okay this is enough for me then i can do like that you can also think you know try to use all these values if you are if you are you know if you want to publish the name, time also you can do that okay so it's all up to you uh, like but imagine that this is one, only the variable okay whatever you have in terms of variable it will be displayed here okay this is if you want to pass some parameter to your class suppose we are using generics and other stuff if you want that to be registered in the, in in java docs it it you know you have to mention like this you will understand this when we in, when we create the command for the methods okay because we have methods that accepts the parameters right so you can understand in in detail when we speak about that but just for now just understand this is the default template that we can configure you can configure based on your requirement but i would suggest you to keep all the metadata only here don't give too much of details here okay that's that's not going to look good okay just change it and click on okay the same way you can set it for fields constructors okay your methods 
you no know, you have your own overriding methods if you have the body will have this particular thing if you have a setter getter you know all these things you can customize okay for now i'm just clicking on close and if you notice i will also want to create it for my method okay so this is a this is this is okay for me okay if i want to use a p is this for line breaks if you want to use a, a p again i want to do a, another line break again you can also use other uh, you know suppose you want to you know in terms of you want to bold it you want to do a pre pre formatted text okay suppose i want to display something like this pre okay and i want to say uh, checking whether is formatted correctly something like this okay and you can do like this all the html things you can do suppose if you notice the checking whether it is this formatted correctly is is formatted differently right so it's just giving four spaces before and then it is formatted with the with the, with, the, with the correct indentation and spaces so if you have some requirements you can add all the html so you can use break tags okay whatever the other things that you can think of you can use all those things it, it's just a plain html okay you can uh, you can reuse it whatever the way you want okay and now we will create the uh, one for this particular thing again it has to start with slash and double star and now for this i am using this but most importantly guys please give some description okay browser uh, value will be passed from your base test okay and values can be chrome and firefox something like this okay so some some detail about it again guys if you want to link something okay suppose uh, let's say let's take an example from uh, chrome driver how they have written the tags if you notice this is how they have written the java docs command okay if you notice they have mentioned at the rate link okay suppose if you want to link something okay if you notice here at the a web driver is look it's displayed in the form of link okay on clicking that it will take you to that particular interface or class okay you can you, you can also take a reference from this the pre tag they are using just for the formatting okay you can also use at the rate link suppose i want to also tell them okay Uh, hey user not only see this you can also have a look at it driver manager okay driver manager is another class avail available in this particular package so i can directly point it like this so my java doc will now reflect like this okay see also there is there is a new statement that's coming and then this is displayed in form of link again you can also mention about base test okay at the rate c base test since base test is located in a different package i right? in the driver and driver manager are located in same package but this base test is located in a different package guys so so you need to give the full path okay that is your package name com.tnb.tests okay dot and base test okay you need to give the full path so that it can understand it clearly okay good so this is how it looks okay you can also add a, a break back here okay so that it looks much clean okay so it's up to you how you want to customize okay so this is the basic details i want to give for my method that's also fine and what else we, we can give okay for the constructor yes obviously for the constructor i am giving the comment again uh, maybe private constructor okay to avoid okay external stand th okay good guys so we, we are just using a private constructor to avoid external instantiation that uh, is fine okay now i want to generate the java doc for this okay you can use multiple ways you can use your command prompt okay but i'm going to use my eclipse ide go here to the project click on generate java doc again guys if you feel the video little slow please change the playback settings to 1.5 or 2 so that you don't feel any slowness now you need to select the project for which you want to generate the java documentation here is the project and i am choosing all the files okay i want to choose oh, i want to generate the java documentation for all the files by default it will only show you uh, driver because that's uh, only package where we have uh, created the comments okay and i also want to create for this src test java there is only uh, resources in the src main resources and src test resources so i will not do that and if you notice you have the option to create a java documentation if you want to only 
java documentation to be created for public members then you can choose this but i want to even create for private members because my constructor is a private member if i choose any of these okay then the constructor will not be the java documentation for the constructor private member will not be created but for now i am creating private and if you also tell where you want to save this particular you know html file that is getting generated okay if you have your own custom template uh, doclet you can also give that but for now you can just click on next you can choose which uh, which thing you want to see in the documentation suppose you want don't want to see a deprecated thing in your documentation then you can remove this but for now i am keeping it default okay click on next here you can pass multiple java option but we will see that later but for now i just clicking this open generated index file in browser directly i want to open i don't want to go manually open it so i am just clicking this and then clicking on finish okay let's see what's happening okay now we should we should create all these things right okay so if you notice it has created me the java documentation with all the values okay if you notice the com.tmb driver you know the driver class is responsible for invoking and closing the browsers that's what we gave here right this is the first para that will be displayed here okay all other things if you click on this the other things will be displayed up here okay this this one i will remove but this is for just for your understanding and if you notice very clearly the c also is now looking in form of paste test is looking in the form of link so that you can click okay good so for the private member it's also giving me the command you know the private constructor to avoid external instantiation that's good i also for the uh, constructor detail is getting displayed you also have your method details yes good this is what we want right so even if you if you want to give it in the form of link you can do that as well okay here i didn't do in the form of link suppose i want to convert in the form of link you can do that as well okay suppose uh, here i can also mention at the rate link okay and mention com dot uh, tmb dot test dot base test okay this will display in the form of link good it showed some warning uh, let's see for generating it's telling warning mtp so i have some mtp is there okay maybe i will remove that so i can remove this so okay good again we will generate the java documentation just to check whether uh, the changes that we made here is reflecting there i can go here uh, window project generate java doc guys just important thing make sure that you have this particular thing there okay if you know it will be inside jdk your java jdk there will be a folder called bin there will be java doc.exe that's what it's you know uh, will read all the comments that we have written in the java cl class files and then convert in form of uh, index.html so make sure you have the path configured correctly okay otherwise it will not work i am just directly clicking on finish this time it should show it in the form of link good so again i think we have to choose all the packages just now it just took only one package but for for our interest we are only interested in this okay i think it's uh, maybe the base test we haven't written the comment so it's not coming but yeah that's how you can uh, refer to another package or class files good but if you notice we can also we are adding it for classes this is the same for your interfaces or your constructors or methods but for packages it is little different okay what you have to do you need to create a package hyphen info.java file how to create that suppose i am trying to create a new package okay click on new package if you notice there is an option to create package hyphen info.java in your case it may not be enabled just enable it and create some uh, i am just creating a dummy package for now because i don't want to create it manually so just copy this okay just copy and put it in the folder for which you want to generate it okay and then now we can remove this we don't need this package anymore this is okay good now if i go to this package if i put a java it has all the details just make sure you remove these things okay otherwise it will not be removed now you you need to have only one slash then followed by double star and it has to end with a star and slash this is the default thing you can give comments here okay for your package um this package contains class classes uh, related to driver section and management okay 
for this that's it i don't want to give any other details so this is enough for me for now i also want to check whether uh, this is coming in the java documentation just click on this generate the java documentation okay let me go and check whether all the things are selected okay maybe you need to select the, all these things otherwise it will not be shown as a link okay good now this will be displayed in the form of a link click on finish you can do the same operation from command from command prompt but that's quite tricky so better you use some ide's help okay so if you notice all the packages that i have is all displayed here okay and uh, you also notice um where is our package uh, i think the package that we mentioned is not here the driver package is missing okay maybe there is something wrong let's see I think there is no errors. Let me refresh this document folder. Refresh this and open it again. Good. Still, it's not there. Please let me let me create it once again. So I think uh, when selecting the package, just unselect this whole thing and then select it again. Okay. Now it should work. Okay. So make sure that you have the ticks here. Okay. I think the that indicates that there will be an excluded it will exclude it seems okay so just make sure there are ticks there okay good now it's generating all the things for me this time if you notice the package information is also displayed the package contains classes related to driver initialization so if you create a framework like this you when you create a java documentation anyone can go and understand suppose if i go and check what's inside this particular package there is a two classes because we don't have description de defined for the driver manage it's not displayed but if you have displayed you know it's it's easy to understand what this class is all about okay so you can also go inside and read more about it you can also have links wh where you can direct people to go there okay everything is looking fine this is how the java guys have developed their documentation okay the, the same for all the things you can use it for mobile automation framework or your rest assured and what not can use it for all other things okay so this is all the basics but if you notice um maybe i'll i'll remove these things and if you notice the java documentation the title is generated documentation untitled something like this okay suppose if i do an inspect and go inside this html tag okay head tag notice this is the title generated by java doc on wednesday at this particular time the title is generated documentation that's it so i want to customize this okay you can do all these things okay for that let go here click on generate java doc and make sure that you select all these things okay and click on next click on next and here you have the option to add more value okay so what i can do i can also add something like this Just a minute, guys. So I already have you know copy pasted. Okay, I already have this. I'll just copy paste. So hyphen window title. Suppose I want to change the title to testing mini bytes. So it will be displayed in the tab. Okay, and if you want to show some header. Okay, I'm just giving Selenium automation framework from testing mini bytes. Okay, and at the bottom I want to add the footer. Okay, where you can mention this is a copyright. I am testing mini bytes, all rights reserved, and other stuff. I'm giving all the access for everyone to use the framework, modify it, use according to their needs. Okay, this may not be the you know effective copyright statement, but still, okay. And I also I am giving an option for like, share, and subscribe and support in a form of a link. Okay, so the link will take you to the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel. Okay, this is how it is. Okay, so now I'm clicking on finish. Now this time we can see all these changes. It's really cool, right? So. We are doing a lot of modification. They have given a lot of other options as well. I will I will give the you know Java documentation from where I I you know read about all these details. Okay, in the description, so you can also have a look at it, explore more about it. Okay, now if you notice, like, share, and subscribe and support. This is what we give in the footer. Okay, it's it's now coming in the form of link. On clicking this, it will take me to the YouTube page. Okay, maybe for now, yeah, I don't have the thing, but yeah, this is the footer information. 
and if you notice this is a header information that i try to pass okay it's also there and if you notice the title now is testing many bytes so if you do an inspect and also go there to see the title it will be testing many bytes good right so these are all the quick changes that you can do and we'll also go through the okay if you are missing something we will we will rectify that we have done this we have done that we have done this as well okay add documented annotation for custom annotation good guys so now uh, I, I i missed it to you know speak about this let me also cover this okay if you notice we have custom annotations in our framework okay uh, if you notice we have framework annotation okay here if you know uh, suppose uh, let me go to the base test okay this is the base test right if you notice this base test is just telling it's you know uh, let me either not the base test maybe amazon demo test it's using an you know it's using the annotation that test annotation and uh, you know your framework annotations are on top of it if you go to the class files this particular test method is having two annotation one is a test coming from your test ng and framework annotation that is the custom annotation that we have created to handle the extent reports but if you notice these things are not displayed here okay these things are not displayed on top of this suppose you want to display okay uh, the annotations over here then you need to add one more thing in your annotation that is at documented at documented okay if you add this statement and if you gener generate the java documentation again okay okay just this good now again click on finish this time we should see in the amazon test uh, our all other test cases where you are using that particular annotation okay go here click on amazon demo test and if you notice whatever the annotation that we have the values that we entered there is also getting populated here it's again based on your requirement whether you want to display it or not you can do that a test will not be displayed because a test is an annotation that is coming from your test ng okay we we have not created this annotation so they haven't included the documented tag uh, annotation here so it will not be displayed in the documentation so this is all uh, i have to share about java documentation guys so the generated html file is just a index.html file you can host it in some particular page in your in your company it can be accessed only within your company so this is really cool right you have your own documentation again guys i cannot do for each of the classes and packages maybe i will leave the rest to for you if you have any uh, doubts please leave it in the comment section if you like the video please share it with your friends you know and also uh, click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys thank you all i will all i will see you in another great video until then tada bye bye